If you find today's video interesting, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any exciting videos. Now let's get into today's topic. Money to become no, brainwash in the sense that you know. Uh, yeah, I would as well. I put my my shoes uh, in the Chinese uh, uh, family. Okay, huh. I'm not getting help. I'm not getting any assistance from the government. Despite my my child is getting ten or fifteen A's, he or she may not get a place. Hmm. Excuse me, I would try to survive on my own, you know. I would uh, instill uh, this mindset into my family that we have to survive, we have to work hard, uh, uh, you know, and uh, so this is why they all get together and help each other. Would you be doing that if you are not in their position? I would, I would as well. So I don't blame the Chinese or the Indians for supporting their own community because they don't get help from our government. This is the key here. If they have had the same treatment, uh, you know, uh, uh, by our government, not just this government, the previous governments, yeah. I don't think this mindset of, uh, you know... Only for themselves yes. will not happen. Yeah. Correct. Mm. You know, I, I, I really don't blame them, to be honest, you know. Kudos to them for surviving despite not getting any help. Despite all this uh, 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 quota being given by the government to the Bumiputra or the Malays, they are still the best. They are still the 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 uh, you know very rich, doing very well. Uh, you know, managed to send their kids to overseas, good schools, on their own uh, back or maybe with their community's help. You know, I mean. Uh, you think you think you think the Chinese communities are still. Uh, Concern about the welfare of the Malay community? They, they, they do. They do? I know many Chinese, rich Chinese people helping Malays. Okay? I, I, I know they will support what is right. You know? Hmm. Um, and, and, and um, yeah, this is really um, not true at all. Uh, you know, the businesses built up by the Chinese and the Indians, you know. Uh, who are the workers? Mostly, uh, their workers are the Malays, you know. Uh, so, you know, to say that they are not, they don't care uh, about the Malay community, which is not true. But why is this? Why do the Malays somehow think? Hmm? Why? Very simple. They've been uh, fed with things uh, which are not true. You know, they're being uh, fed by their leaders. Yes, uh, by their leaders doesn't not does not mean politicians, but they are ustad oh. Oh. in the surau, in the masjid, keep on uh, you know saying the you know I mean pass, you know pass will always say you know the, you it's better to be like uh, 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 you know uh, yeah. uh, a not a Muslim a bad Muslim than a good non-Muslim. Yes. <laughs> It, that's not Islamic at all, yeah. you know. What kind of Islam being taught in Malaysia? That is always my question, yeah. and nothing's being done uh, to control these people, yeah. uh, and and so we hence we have this hatred amongst our race. Uh, but uh, yeah, I I know uh, personally a lot of Chinese businessmen are very concerned uh, with, with, with what where we are going, you know. And they don't care about race. They will help, uh, you know, if it's worth the cost. Yeah. Mm. And um, uh, okay, we have now migration, people leaving the country for for some years now, mm. but it is now getting more and more. Yeah. I think more Malays have left the country, mm. especially to Singapore, yeah. than ever before. Yep. So, which which means the situation in the country it's not just bad for the non malays it's mm. bad for the malays also yeah of course. would you agree with me? of course in fact uh the <laughs> malays are the most oppressed in this country do they know that they don't know that <laughs> or, or they, they always think because the again this uh, idea of uh, telling the malays life after death is more important than life right now despite no one has come back to tell them there is life after death or not you know so it's just because of this ulama telling them okay so don't care about what is happening now why are there so many people leaving 
you know, despite what people think, my supporters are mostly non-Malays, uh, you know, um, uh, but there are many Malays like me, but of course not many, as many as the majority, because, uh, you know, we don't know the numbers, to be honest. But why are they leaving? Leaving because they are in fear of what, where we are going as a country, as a nation. We are seeing more and more implementation of religious uh, uh, you know, so-called religious. So-called religious, yes, in their minds, you know, uh, that they are implementing, uh, you know, more and more control towards the Malays. You know, the Malays uh, should realize this: that you know, our lives are getting, uh, our freedom is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, look at what is happening right now. Instead of trying to reduce this influence of religion, personally, I don't care. What sort of faith you want to believe, whether you're a Wahhabi, Salafi, you're a Sunnah wal Jama'ah, whether you're Ahmadiyya or whether you're a Shia, I don't care. But do not use your, your moral values or your belief onto me, okay? Uh, just because by accident of uh, birth, I am born into a Malay family, so therefore automatically, I am a Muslim and uh, if somebody goes to say that I don't agree with this, I want to come out from Islam, uh, your Islam, they will not allow you. This is more and more becoming more and more difficult. Not really difficult. We have a federal court says no, you go to Sharia. You go to Sharia court, but which means you can't go, you can't get out. No, no instead you are sent to a rehabilitation center. Uh, so <laughs> where is that? Uh, uh, the Malays don't realize uh, they are... <laughs> Mm. You know why I'm laughing? Mm. It reminds me of this song, Hotel California. Yes. You, you, you can come in any time, but you can't get out. Exactly. This is Malaysia <laughs> Islam. Lah. Malaysia Islam. Um, so this is the problem we have. Uh, and uh, people who think, at least uh, with their brain, uh, um, they will start thinking, I don't think this country can be helped anymore. Mm. Uh, uh, we are just, uh, you know, heading toward this current government in which we rely so much to reduce this kind of thing oh actually much more worse no, uh, uh, the current pm put a jakim officer in every of the department uh, of the government department in Mal uh, in the country mm. so anything you want to do you must go through the jakim whether it's islamic or not mm. to their mind whether it's islamic or not mm. uh, you see uh, which never been done by even pm you know even pass yeah. um you know, I, I, this is the thing, you know, I mean, what I'm saying is, uh, you know, not a criticism of anyone, but I just want you all to see that, uh, you know, the, the, the current government itself is, uh, you know, like the so-called harmonization of the Sharia and the civil law. We have to worry about that. Huh? They don't even allow a non-Muslim politician or MP to be in the committee. Yeah. Why? Why? If you are involving the, the constitution, Malaysians should be involved. Yeah. We don't even know. RU 355. This Hadis bill, uh, uh, a private member's bill being uh, worked on by the current government. When even during PN and, and uh, Pakatan, uh, uh, PAS, uh. they did not work on it. But uh. this current one to show they are more Islamic. Mm. You know, this. But I think a lot of the Malays do not know what RU 355 stands for. Uh, if only they know. <laughs> right? If you enjoy our insights, Please consider subscribing to help us bring more content like this. Thank you for tuning in. Clicking the subscribe button is a great motivation for the channel. Thank you very much.